you know something that I hate? I hate it. With in this world of, of social media, people are inconsistent with their communication. Like it seems like people can choose where they want to talk to you. So I got some people. Any like I'm not only talking about like friends, even business partners. They start the conversation on 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 SMS, then they continue on WhatsApp. And then they finish in Snapchat where they're supposed to know that the fucking conversation will disappear. But yeah, they talk to you on Snapchat like and one week later, they continue the conversation on WhatsApp and like you're supposed to remember. And there's a reason why we like to keep the conversation in one place. It's because in case we forget some terms or I don't know, maybe you're in the middle of negotiation and you're negotiating the price for a show or for a gig or something and uh, and uh, this whole negotiation is not on our Snapchat and then the person continues on, on Facebook Messenger or on SMS or on whatever and then uh, you're supposed to remember like, like you're only talking to one person and more and more I feel like strangling people or Telling them, listen, talk to me on one place. Or, yeah, talk to me on WhatsApp. Don't talk to me on everywhere. Or when you wanna, unless you wanna comment a video I put and say, ha great, okay, no problem. But if we're having a conversation about something, yeah. This morning, I was talking to a business partner. It's like somebody that, it's not even like a, 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 a fan or something. It was somebody we, we do business together and he starts a conversation on Gmail by email. And in the middle of the conversation, he continue replying on Facebook Messenger. What's wrong with me? So the only problem with Netflix in the shower is that with hot water, this happened. So you always have to put water while you're taking a shower so you can continue watching. But it's all right, not a big deal. I'm preparing to go buy some uh, presents for my son. I'm going, that's his birthday, so I'm going to see him in Congo. I'm gonna be leaving in, in two days. Uh, before that, I have my girlfriend's uh, birthday dinner and then on the day of her birthday, the end of the day, I'm going to Istanbul, Istanbul, the next day I'm going to Kinshasa. I'm going to spend a week there and on my birthday, and I'm going to be spending my birthday inside the plane. I'm at Colombo shopping, about to buy some gift for my kid that is about to be 14. If there's something I love about Lisbon is the size of the shoppings. Okay, they're not as big as uh, Thailand, but yeah, this one, Colombo, is huge. The first time I came here, I was like, what? And the best thing about the shoppings here is that they, they open until midnight. So like, you wanna go to a party, you don't have underwear, you can be like at 11.45, you go to Zara, your balls are secure, So, got my son overboard, finally. His mom was vetoing the idea, but finally got it. Now I hope I can't travel with it to Istanbul, then to Congo. Uh, let's see. It's a fairly good quality one. I'm not gonna buy my son some dangerous stuff. But he's 14, I think. Okay, they got. Tudo bem? Bom ano. Bom ano. Amor, as pessoas dizem que elas querem mais olhar a dentro do vlog. Então, já. Yeah.
Está lá no fundo. Então, Alex, já gostaste do mercado Ribeiro? Não. Fish. Não. 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 Look at her, all pregnant. <laughs> After this good um, lunch, time to take the Uber back home. And I have to do some mixes.